Hello folks, this is the quick start video for PQ Art Parts. Uh, first thing we're going to do is have a look at how to import and get started with PQ Art Parts. So either you can go and grab each of the clips individually or import the AEP file which will have everything already organized for you. So here you go, there's a ton of files all organized into these folders. A ton of wipes, a ton of windows and a bunch of other stuff. And that's it imported, ready to go. So you're gonna to wanna to try this out and see how it works. So set up a comp, pull something in there so you can like get it going. Um, I've got this little render of Mona Lisa. Doesn't hurt to take a second to organize that. So go ahead and uh, grab one of the art parts. In this case, I'll take this spray paint frame I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of it so it fits in this 1080 composition. So you're going to go and set the track mat of the layer beneath so it uses Luma mat. And you can see it works immediately. And where there's white in the layer, it's solid, and where there's black, it is completely transparent. And that's basically how that works. You can also set it to Luma inverted and, you know, Although this looks stupid, there may be cases where you want to go and try that. And you can see when you zoom up, there's tons of detail here. So let's look at interpreting footage. By default, these are all set to either 12 frames per second or 24 frames a second. You know, just so you know, you can go in and change that to anything you like. Sometimes I like to use a really low frame rate like it, just to get that low frame rate look. I also like mixing low frame rate with a higher frame rate. I think it looks really cool. And that's pretty much what that looks like. Let's look at adjusting the intensity of the Luma mats. So you could use levels to do this, but I like to use curves. So up here, if you grab the white point, that's going to affect the overall solidness of the whole Luma mat. And basically make more of the mat fully solid. So each different art part is gonna have different overall character to it. So you'll just have to fill that out and dial this how you see fit. The last thing I wanted to point out is that you can basically just combine these. One thing I've been playing with is using one of the frames and then revealing that with one of the wipes so that you could basically have any frame combined with any wipe so you just need to pre-compose a couple of these together. So in this example, you would just drop one of the wipes on top of the frame, set the top layer to multiply, and that'll basically just reveal the layer beneath. All right, that's it. Hopefully you find that useful. Have fun with it. 